Right, <laughs> Tabata Tuesday number seven, apparently. I'm just making these numbers up nowadays, but it sounds cool. Tabata number seven, Tabata number seven, Tabata Tuesday number seven. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You know the protocol. That means you work hard, you work as hard as you can. It doesn't mean, oh yes, it's only 20 seconds. It's all out, flat out, 20 seconds. Two exercises per circuit, yep. And each circuit only lasts for four minutes. And then you get a minute rest in between. So the idea is all out, flat out, and it's over before you know it. Yep. Tabata Tuesday, you should know the draw by now. So stand by, we're gonna start in 30 seconds everybody. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is spot sprints. My new favourite one. Why? Because they're bloody hard. Yep, they're really hard, but you have to put the effort in to make them hard, okay? So spot sprints, you're driving the arms. <sighs> Biggest tip I'll give you for those who aren't as coordinated is drive the arms as fast as you can and don't think too much about the feet. Just make sure that your feet are actually coming off the ground. Don't want to see this. Don't want to see this. Yep, second exercise is close-handed press-ups. Three, two, one, go! Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, you still have your wheat a bit today. You're on fire, straight into it. So I'm driving the arms, all out, flat out. I'm not setting a pace. I am flat out, putting them all in. So just as that buzzer goes, boom. Okay, so the idea is it's all out, flat out. And in 20 seconds, you're pretty much going to start slowing down. Three, two, close-handed press-ups. Go. I want good controlled reps. It's a strength exercise. If you need to drop to the knees, you drop them from that full position, okay? Chest to floor. And you're going to feel this. You're going to feel that in the back of the arms more. Hit the triceps with that one. Five seconds, spot sprint, stand by. Three, two, one, go. Good. Why am I seeing farting about? You know it's 20 on 10 off. That 10 seconds is enough time to get set up for the next exercise. Okay, go. All out, flat out. I'm trying to move my arms as fast as I can. Focus on the arms. And the feet will go in time, relax. They're awful, but good. Right, stand by. So, three, two, one. The first rep goes now. Okay, there we are now. So, you're using the 10 seconds to set yourself up. Because as soon as that buzzer goes, you do the first rep. Relax on your feet. Shake those arms out. Oh, those arms are tired. I don't know what they've been doing, but they are tired. Three, two, one, go. So this is round three. Only four rounds. So we're nearly done. Halfway, all out, flat out. Remember that. Don't pace it. It's all out, flat out. You're gonna get tired, of course you are. Right, close-handed press-ups. Three, two, one, rep one, go. Come on. What are we doing there, Garen and Carrie? Garen and Carrie. That was, <laughs> that came out wrong. Stop having a picnic and hurry up with these transitions. Good. Karen and Gary. Not Garen and Carrie. That's a new one. Lack of oxygen. Go. Round four. Last round. So you'll probably struggle to breathe. And that's the whole point. It's only 20 seconds. Horrible. Three. Push it. Good. Last set. Close handed press ups. Three seconds and the first rep goes. Now.
on your feet, walk around, sip of water. Shake those arms out. So that's circuit number one done. So that is circuit number one done, those four circuits. You get the gist. Start pushing myself to the max, everybody. Okay, next exercises. Jumping jack, jump squats. Pay attention. Nice and light on the toes, proper squat. Now when we're doing that squat, drive the toes in. We're a bit more dynamic, okay? Drive the toes in, it's gonna stop you tipping forward. Your second exercise is knees to chest, sitting on the ground. Now again, it's not just about cracking all the reps. Pull them in, punch them out, six inches off the ground, if you can. I'm gonna say if you can, you do it, okay? Don't drop those feet, it's 20 seconds. Jumping jack, jump squats, push it hard. If it's hard and you're suffering, good. Yep, because that's the whole point. Short, sharp, intense. Go, jumping jack, jump squat. I want you going fast now, you're warm. So what's your excuse for going slow? What's your excuse for 75%? Guarantee it, if you've got one. It's a lot of crap. Injury, maybe. But anything else, just not feeling it. Boo-hoo. Hit it hard. Easy. See? Easy. Push it hard. Knees to chest in five seconds. That first rep goes on the buzzer. Three, two, one. I'm away. Look at the control. Look at the tempo. Okay? I'm trying to focus on good quality reps. My feet, six inches off the ground, pretty much always. <sighs> Pulling the knees, not to my chest, but almost as if I'm trying to take them to my ears. Pull them in, okay? Keep them apart, get them past your chest and aim. Pardon me. Go. <sighs> jump a jack, jump squats. <sighs> Let's be fast. On the jumping jack, punch out, punch in, okay? Don't do it like the days ago. Good. Pull the knees apart on the squat and drive those toes in. Well done, everybody. Knees to chest. Set yourself up. First rep. In three, two, one, go. Pull. Knees in, then pull for that last part. That's what's going to get the core in. Pull. Pull and punch out. Pull, punch out. <sighs> Tough exercise if you do it properly. <sighs> Good work. Well done, everybody. Dig deep. Remember, we're here to work hard. Short and sharp. And then it's done with. Stand by. Go. Jump jack. Jump squat. <sighs> Faster. <sighs> Be explosive when you're jumping jack. Punch out, punch in, down. Punch in, punch in, down. Drive those toes in. Great work, come on. Five seconds. All out, flat out. That's why we're here. That's what Tuesday nights are all about, relax. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, the first rep, here we go. Yes. Great work on live. Good, keep the control there. Pull it in, punch it out. Pull it in, punch it out. Try and be graceful with it. Don't think about the burning. If your core muscles are tired and they're burning, don't focus on that. Stand by, this always comes round quick. Three, two, one, go. Be fast. Drive your arms up, punch them down. Good work, five more seconds, all about the reps, all about speed, high quality of course. There we go. Knees to chest, five. Stand by, one, go. Last set everyone, let's get it done. Easy, nice and easy. Punch it out, pull it in.
Nice, three seconds. Good work. Relax on your feet, walk around. Nicely done there, everyone. Right, okay. Next exercises. Breathe, shake it out. Sip of water if you need it. Seal jacks. Okay, seal jacks. Again, if done properly, they can get the heart rate up. So it's just like a jumping jack. Feet together, hands together, jump out, jump in, yep. Make sure you're pulling those shoulder blades together and you're pulling them hit apart, yep. Do it properly, good form, good posture. I do not want to see this. See how soft my arms are? Okay, I'm like a wet fart. Don't be a wet fart. Second exercise is leg raises. Get into the knees, knees to chest position. And we'll take it from there, okay? Leg raises, we're doing them a lot recently. Why? Because they're hard. Why? Because I like them. Why? Because they're hard. Okay, so legs straight, up, down. Up, down. You're going as high as you can, but you must keep your legs straight because I still see a lot of this, okay? That's pretty much knees to chest. Yep, straight legs. Stand by for seal jacks. So we're feet are together. Arms out in front. Three, two, one, boom. There we are now. Go for it. What's your excuse? Let's get it done. Pull the arms apart. Keep the shoulder blades together. Punch out, punch in. Punch out, punch in. Good. Good. Good exercise, this. Works the upper body more than you might realize. Relax. Straight leg. So it's just like knees to chest set up. I'm leaning back a wee bit, yep. Stand by. Up, down. Punch up, down under control. So it's the same kind of tempo as knees to chest. Okay, I don't want to just go because you're not going to do it properly. Up all the way, down under control. Up all the way, down under control. Don't rest the feet on the ground unless you absolutely have to. And by absolutely have to, I mean you're at failure. Not, oh, it's a wee bit hard, this will have a rest. Three, seal jacks, go. Punch it out, snap it in, yep. Don't be soft with it. Don't be giving us that. Punch out, punch in. Same with the legs. Nice and light on those toes. Punch out. Feel the air. Yep. Feel the air in your arms. Good. Relax. Right, I'll show you front on this time, just in case. Keep the form, keep it good. Slight lean back. Yep, so straight away, just hold in that position. Go. Even if I wasn't doing the leg raises, this would be tough. Okay? So it's like holding six inches off the ground but with the upper body slightly leaning back. So without even moving the legs, my core has to work hard. That's why this is tough, okay? It's a tough one. Relax. But it's about control. It's a strength exercise for most. So we take our time, we keep the tempo there, keep the reps high quality. Two, one, go. Great work on live, that was good. Fantastic. Nice and prompt. Pulling those arms back. Nice and light on the toes. Let's go for it. Pull those shoulder blades together. Always. Good work. Into our leg raises, everybody. Five seconds. So I like these leg raises. Why? Because it's a damn good exercise. Go. Straight legs and down. Straight legs and down. Don't let your knees bend. It is. A tough exercise, so if you are struggling, good. I don't mean that in a nasty way, but if you are struggling and you are uncomfortable, it's a damn good thing. Because that's where the magic happens. Okay, last set. Push it hard. Simple, isn't it? Let's go. Away. Good, so it's all out. Flat out, punching out. Be explosive with it. You punching out instead of just going like the days ago, gonna use more energy. And that's what we want. Trying to burn a lot in a short space of time here and get the most from what is a short workout. Relax, leg raises, the last set. Yep, keep the control there. Don't give in to it. The only reason your knees, your feet touch the ground here, go. 
is because you physically, your body physically doesn't have the strength anymore to hold you. You don't drop the feet by choice. You don't see all oh, this burns like hell. You keep going. It's only 20 seconds. Work it. Keep those legs straight. Like I say, tough exercise. It's meant to be. Walk around, catch your breath. Maybe a good idea to get a wee sip, not too much. I would definitely keep the emphasis on a wee sip. <laughs> okay, let's test those legs out now. Eh? We all know how to do them, but I'm going to remind you anyway, that way the standards here. A bunny hop burpee, yep. A bunny hop burpee, we like these. Yep, we like them, we all like them. So on a bunny hop burpee, I recommend, it's down to you though, that you put your hands close together. Yep, as if you were doing a close-handed press up. Because when I jump out, and I jump in, look where I can get my feet. Pretty much at the bottom of a squat. Now, if you're fairly tight, you're gonna land with a really arched back. So push the hips, then do your punches. Three, pow <laughs> Three bunny hops, in and out. <laughs> yep. So from the side, bad mobility, you're gonna look like this. Yep. So before you do your bunny hops, chest up and through, drive the toes in. Make sure you're getting those three bunny hops. Oh, oh no, it's not. And then your second exercise is what infamous Terminators. Terminators, we like Terminators also. All the favorite ones tonight. Feet together, knees together, jump out, jump all the way out. Jump in, sorry, jump out. Make sure when you're jumping out that you achieve this position all the time. If you're not jumping all the way out, you're not working the core and you're getting not a lot from it. It's only 20 seconds, suck it up. Three, two, one, bunny hop burpees. I'm out, I'm in, one, two, three. Make sure the whole foot is coming off the ground. Make sure your knees are not caving in. So the emphasis here, drive those toes into the ground, pull those knees apart. As I always tell you, on those squats, it's really important. Terminators, we're all in the full press-up position. Feet together, knees together, stand by, jump them out, jump them in. Keep it going. Tough exercise, you keep the ankles together, you keep the feet together. Jump them into the side, you're trying to land them as close to the side of your hands as you can. If you do not jump, oh, if you do not jump all the way out of those legs, you're not going to feel it in the core. Stand by. Go. One, two, three. Pull the knees apart. Drive the toes into the ground as you do so. Good, high quality squats. It's like a pulse and it's rotten. Good. Terminators, I'll show you from the side this time. That are all important. Making sure your legs are jumping all the way out. Stand by. Go all the way out, all the way in as far as you can. Making sure you're keeping those feet and knees together. If you let the feet go apart, again, you ain't working the core hard enough. Yep, a pretty horrible combo. But hey, look at the bright side. It's the last one. Go, bunny hop, burpees. Absolute leg burner, if nothing else. Make sure, good quality. Pull the knees apart, drive the toes in. Do not jump with your knees caved in. Whoa. Terminators, stand by, push it hard, push yourself hard, go, so for those of you who can remember the thruster, we were jumping in and out with the knees, it's exactly the same, except to the side, oh, okay, Step four, thank goodness. Okay, push, 
push it hard. Go. One, two, three. Keep going. Five more seconds. Okay, this is it. Last bit of hard work. Last bit of hard work. Set yourself up, everybody. Go. Push through the pain barrier. Keep going. Don't let the quality go down. Soon be over. Go. Oh. Right, everybody. On your feet. Walk around. Take that minute. Because that is your minute and you earned that minute. So that combo was pretty rotten. Okay, those terminators are rotten. And again, you must really focus on doing them right. If you're not doing many reps, but you're doing them right because you're finding them a struggle, then you're gonna get better. I keep hammering this home. But if your terminators look like this, yeah, I don't really need to say anymore. Okay, I'm not saying anybody did, but I'm just getting the point across. If you're doing the reps properly and you're struggling, you're going to get better. You're gonna be able to do more reps next time. You're gonna get fitter. But if you're doing them crap, you're not gonna get better, okay? So always, I know it's hard sometimes, and some of those exercises are real tough, but that's all the more reason to push yourself. Right, okay. Find your spot, because it wouldn't be to bat a Tuesday without our core finisher. And tonight, is probably going to be a bit of a bummer, okay? 20 seconds and we begin, so get your wee bums down. Okay, first exercise is going to be full crunches. All we're doing, I'm lying flat. I'm lifting my upper body up, knees to elbow. I say knees to elbow, it's pretty much knees to face. But don't knee yourself in the face. Three, two, one, go. Up, squeeze down. Don't let the feet touch the ground. Make sure the upper back, hit, is lifting off. Okay, you're lifting your body up, crunching it together. Meeting the face, up with the knees. For 20 seconds, not a bad exercise. Relax, okay, simple. Yep, next exercise. Plant the feet in a glute bridge position. Okay, and it's heel taps, heel taps. Don't bring your feet too close. Go, heel taps. So my upper back is off the ground. Yep, so straight away, I'm engaging that core. Now don't cheat and put your feet real close to your bum because then you don't need to move. Reach for them, put them a wee bit far away. You should feel at the very limit of that range, you have to reach, okay? Otherwise, it's not a heel. Oh, horrible. Elbow plank, absolutely simple. Simple, but you do them properly here, okay? Stand by, three, two, one, I'm away. Get the feet together, get the knees together, chest up, squeeze the butt. You are solid. I want you to imagine someone is about to stand on your lower back, okay? That'll get you in the right position. That'll get you in the right position. Don't be relaxed around the core. A lot of people just hold a relaxed position. That's not what we want. Good. Okay, roll onto your backs. Pulses. Remember these from every minute on the minute. Palms up. Pulse. Pulse. Okay? Very short range of movement. It's going to be bumming. Go. Pulse. Pulse. It's 20 seconds, so you should, in theory, if you didn't stop, of course we're going to get tired, but you should be able to do two a second if you're fresh. And I'm saying that because, ah, yeah, you're feeling that. I'm saying that because there should be a very short range of movement. My upper back is never touching the ground, yeah, unless I need to stop. Oh, right, full crunches, we do it all again. Yes, work hard, this is a burner. I told you it would be. Three, two, one, this time. These are gonna be a wee bit harder because we're carrying that fatigue over. And you can feel it. Now I want you to use the best mental strength you can muster and ignore that burning. Ignore it, don't give in to it. 
Oh, you'll be glad. Okay, you'll be glad, right? Heel taps, everybody. Like I say, use the mental strength that you've got. You've got it, so use it. Go. Heel taps. Upper back's off the ground, so straight away, even if I wasn't doing the heel taps, I'd be holding a stress position. And again, it probably takes about five seconds before this burns like hell. Fight through it. Just a feeling, everybody. Just a feeling. Oh, roll into your front. Yep, if you're feeling it, I'm right there with you. If you're not, hats off to you. Right, elbow plank, go. Remember, feet together, knees together, chest solid. Imagine someone's about to stand on your lower back butt area and that'll position you in a nice, tight, solid position. Yeah, like I say, probably feeling this now. Fatigue's kicking in. These pulses are gonna be awful, but we like awful, don't we? We damn right we do. Good, good, right, come on. This is your last 20 seconds of the night, okay? So let's finish on a high, yep. Let's ignite that napalm, let's do it. Oh, I'm away doing heel taps. Pulses, if you're not sure, look at me. Okay, it's a very short range of movement. Okay, my upper back never touches the ground. It's just horrible, it just burns. But this is gonna test you. Okay, suck it up, just suck it up, get on with it. Is it a sore? Yes, good. Just, ah, oh, yes. Right. How is that feeling? Pretty nasty, eh? We like that, though. Usually on the core, usually on the core finishers, I distribute it between the whole core. Yeah, but with that one, I just wanted it to burn. I wanted it to burn like hell and see what you're made of so that you could see what you're made of. Because like I say, it really is a mental, mental game, okay, for a lot of people. That was a bunt like hell. You want to stop, okay? And that's what you're arguing. You've got those two voices in your head. One that's telling you, come on. Another one that's telling you, stop this hurts. And usually the stop this hurts one's a lot louder. Yeah, and that's where you just need to say, oh, beat it and turn the other one up and go for it, which he's all did. That was good on live, everybody, from what I saw tonight. So hats off to you.